All right. Here we go. Quiet. Quiet. Roll up. The Dirt was directed by Jeffrey Turnmain and is a biopic movie of the metal band Motley Crue. And in the year 2000, the Motley Crue wrote a book called The Dirt, where they write about the whole crazy stories that happened. And now they made a movie from the updated book. So, and the movie stars Daniel Webber as Vince Neil, Douglas Booth as Nikki Six, Colson Baker, aka Machine Gun Kelly, as Tommy Lee, and Iron Rowan as Mick Mars. And as before, this is the biopic movie of Motley Crue. I'm a fan of Motley Crue, even though I got a Kiss t-shirt on now. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I'm a fan of Motley Crue. I like Kickstart My Heart, Same Old Situation, Dr. Feel Good, Girls, 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 Wild Side. There's a lot of great songs. So I was happy to see this movie because normally we don't get a lot of movies about rock bands. Well, we got Queen, but I wish they would make more movies about rock bands. Like, you know, I would love to see a Led Zeppelin, a Kiss movie, but I'm, I'm happy we got this movie. Now, this movie, I must say, the performances are great. I mean, all the performances who portray the actors, the real life people, um, everybody gives a good performance as them. Nobody really phones it in. Everybody was great in the movie. The interesting part about this movie is the way it tells the story, like the structure of it. There's a fourth wall breaking of every character, correcting stuff that was in the movie that actually wasn't in the real life. But kind of, it was kind of made in a fun way, like it was new and fresh. That was a really cool take on the whole biopic movie. Because normally it's just, you know, a regular movie made, you have this part, this part, this part, this part. And But this movie is great, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the movie. A lot of nudity, <laughs> yes, a lot of boobs, girls, uh, like... Yeah, that, that was something that surprised me. It was also what they captured good, like the era of the 80s and the craziness that happened and all of that. And it doesn't feel like, you know, like Hollywood lies or phoned in. Like, you know, like you see those rock movies, you know, where the rockers do all those crazy stuff. You know, and a lot of things in movies, oh, they just made that for the movie to make it more entertaining or something. But actually not, like they really did those things. It's like written in the book, so everything you see on screen really happened. There's even an interview where Nikki Six confirms all the stuff that, you know, people think were fake in the movie. And also the other people who portray other rock legends in this movie and icons are really great. I won't spoil who it is, but there's one that I would have found like, oh, that's cool. He played a good job. That was surprising. And what I also like, they focus a lot on the negative part and on the downfall of the band. You know, not like you know me, not like you know me would have, um, you know, just oh, 10 minutes or something and then everything is good again. No, like a, a good chunk of the movie is actually like you you see them band struggling with their drugs, with alcohol, you know, with deaths and family and everything. Like it really takes the time to really, really give in to those dark moments that the band has, but which actually also more relevant than we see in other movies, by especially biopic and rock movies when it comes to rock stars. So that was really interesting to see, to really, um, yeah, of course you have the whole fun, crazy stuff, that's all, but you also see this other serious side, uh, which, they, which actually did a really good job. Now this movie also focused mostly on one band member, um, which is fine, I mean, but it's also like every band member does get does have their moment in the movie. Every band member gets to tell their side of the story, in a way. Some One band member doesn't get as much, but I wish you would have a little bit more with him, but still fine with me. But all of it, the performances were great. As far as negatives go with this movie, um, I don't really have a lot. As far as can say, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, a little bit too much of like the negative part and just a little bit of the part where you know where they focus a lot on the dark stuff which is a little bit less of this and i wish they would focus a little bit more on they would give more screen time to the other band members to show their perspective which we get but it's most but this one band member has uh, has most of the focus of the entire movie so i think that would have been better like to share a little bit more like the space of it but other than that i had fun with this movie i'm going to give this movie an a minus Go check out The Dirt. If you're a Motley Crue fan like me, go check it out. You will like it. But even if you're not a fan of Motley Crue, go check it out. It's a fun biopic movie. Don't watch this movie with your parents. <laughs> so yeah, you don't want to watch this movie with your parents because there's a lot of, like I said before, boobs, crazy, alcohol, scenery. Like you, yeah, don't, don't, watch this with, don't watch this with kids either. I won't watch this movie with kids. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. And as always, see you next time.